gives Deanna to wed Bryce today? Her mother and I. <laughs> Family and friends, friends, Bryce and Deanna are so happy that you are here today to be a part and witness the union taking place today. Let's all bow our heads and let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just come to you in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you for this day that you have given us. We want to thank you for this couple that you have given us. Thank you that uh, your plan is for them to uh, be joined together, never to be apart again. Father, we thank you for the beautiful weather that you have given us. We thank you for this facility that you have given us. But thank you, Father, for making this day special for Deanna and for Bryce. And we thank you, Father, that you are smiling upon this. And Father, I'm not going to pray in sickness and in health. I'm going to pray in health. I'm not going to pray in uh, richer or for poorer. I'm praying for richer. In everything in their life, Father, I thank you that it is going to have a positive effect on them. And Father, I thank you that this day you have brought two people that love each other and you're going to make them one. And we thank you for that. And we love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Well, since the beginning of man, God said that it isn't good for man to be alone, but that he needed a help meet. Bryce and Deanna have come together to complete each other. They have come to make known publicly how they feel about each other and join themselves together. Family and friends, you have come here today to rejoice and to encourage these two. I want to ask each family member, friend, and guest to be mindful of the things that you speak over Deanna and Bryce. Speak positive things about them. And also as you see the birth of a brand new marriage, a brand new union, let it rekindle a fire in everyone here, whether you've been married a week or if you've been married 60 years. Let this be an encouragement to you to let that fire be rekindled in your life. And to the wedding party, for you groomsmen, you bridesmaids, um, you're not here just because of tradition, but you are here because Deanna and Bryce, they trust you to be witnesses of this union. Be a shoulder of comfort for them. Listen to them as they reach out to you and give advice, but only when it's asked. Love is one of the greatest powers in the world. It looks beyond our faults and our failures. 
Love can cause one to scale a mountain, swim an ocean, walk through a valley. In this marriage, you guys may walk through some dark valleys. You may have to swim through some oceans of uncertainty and pressure. You may have to climb some mountains of adversity, but you won't be alone. You'll have each other. When God puts a man and a woman together, there is a power of love that will strengthen you as you think of the other more than you think of yourself. You will overcome any obstacle in your way and come out stronger than ever. The Bible sets a standard for a man and a woman to live by. And in this we see that the scripture says, Wives, submit yourselves to your husband as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church. Husbands, love your wife as Christ loved the church and he gave himself for it, that he may sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the water by the word. Never use the word as a tool of domination, but use it as a glue that will hold you two together. And at this time, Deanna and Bryce have chosen to do their own vows. And in tradition, we want to allow the lady to go first. So, Deanna, here you go. Okay. Bryce Matthew Cobb. I can't believe it's already been more than four years since we first met. I remember our first date where we sat in Chick-fil-A talking for hours. Well, you were talking for hours. <laughs> I never thought that going into college I would start a relationship, especially a long distance one at that. Through the hard days like being apart from each other for weeks at a time, it was extremely difficult but it only made us grow closer and stronger as a couple. You are the kindest person I know. You always know how to brighten up my day and can always make me laugh. I love how goofy you are no matter who's around. I love how passionate you are about helping others. I love how you make me feel like the most beautiful girl regardless of what I may look like that day. I remember thinking to myself that you were the man I wanted to marry. I can envision our future together with you by my side. And that day is finally coming true. You have truly shown me what it means to be unconditionally loved by someone. You supported me, encouraged me, and have always pushed me to be the best version of myself. You're my adventure partner, my rock, my biggest supporter, the love of my life, and my best friend. I love you with all of my heart, and I thank the Lord for bringing you into my life. I promise to always be your goofy sidekick. I promise to always go on adventures with you. I promise to always encourage you to pursue your dreams. I promise to be faithful and to support you. I promise to stand beside you on the good and the bad days, to laugh with you and comfort you. I promise to openly communicate with you. I promise to put you first and to remain by your side forever and always. Thank you for choosing this life with me. I'm so excited to go on this journey with you as husband and wife. I love you. Now, Brass. Deanna Christine Gilbert. I knew from my first day I'd never want to take my eyes off of you for the rest of my life. Your beauty always lit up the room as soon as you walked in. Your smile, your beautiful smile, <laughs> to this day, after being four years together, it still makes my heart melt. I can still remember one of my favorite dates that we won on. We went to a dinner and a movie, and well, the movie and dinner went by fast. We went to the Food Depot parking lot. <laughs> we just sat there for hours jamming out to Lincoln Park. <laughs> I always remember that because I could not stop smiling and laughing when you were just laughing your butt off while I was using my microphone, my brush as a microphone. <laughs> and to see you smile and, laugh, smile and laugh like that, I knew I could be myself around you. Not long ago, me and Bryson were standing at the station just joking around and laughing. All of a sudden, he asked me, what makes you want to go home after every shift? Without hesitation, I said you. <laughs> I said you. I said you because you're my rock. You're my best friend. And now you're about to be my wife. 
I could not imagine my life without you. I promise you this. I will always be your faithful, loving, caring husband. I will always be by, I will always be your shoulder to cry on, your rock, and whenever you need support. I promise we will never go to bed mad at each other, no matter what the situation is. I will always love you and support you, no matter what you want to do in life. Amen. <laughs> All right. You would. You got the rings. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead and give them the rings now. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bryce, we're going to start with you. Bryce, I want you to look at Deanna standing before you. By her being here today, she is saying that she is in this for the long haul. Bryce, would you care for her? Would you consider her feelings? And would you love her? Yes. Then Bruce, place the ring on her finger and repeat after me. Deanna, Deanna, today I make a public confession. I make a public confession of my love for you. Of my love for you. This ring is a circle. This ring is a circle that has no end. That has no end. Just as my love for you. Just as my love for you. It is a precious metal. It's a precious metal. Just as you are precious to me. Just as you are precious to me. And it is a symbol. It's a symbol that I will love you forever. I will love you forever. Today I marry you. Today I marry you. My best friend. My best friend. All right. Indiana, it's your turn. I want you to look at Bryce standing before you. He is standing today. Uh, he is standing standing here today, showing that he is here for you, and that he chooses you as a lifetime partner. Deanna, would you love him? Would you encourage him? And would you consider his feelings? Yes, I will. Then Deanna, take the ring, place it on Bryce's finger, and repeat after me. Bryce. Bryce. Today I make known publicly. Today I make known publicly. My love for you. My love for you. I promise that as this ring is a never-ending circle. I promise as this ring is a never-ending circle. Love is never ending. So my love is never ending. Precious as the metal is. As precious as the metal is. So shall you always be precious to me. So shall you always be precious to me. This is a symbol that I choose you forever. This is a symbol that I choose you forever. Today I marry you. Today I marry you. My best friend. My best friend. And at this time, Deanna and Bryce, they want to do the sand ceremony. You guys have chosen this day as the beginning of your lives together. Vows have been spoken, rings have been exchanged, and sand has been poured which cannot be separated. Now to Bryce, it is time to put an exclamation point on your story. You may kiss.
the alternative phase. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, it's an honor for me to announce for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Cobb. Don't have to leave this town to see the world Cause it's something that I gotta do I don't wanna look back in 30 years And wonder who you married to Wanna say it now, wanna make it clear For only you and God to hear When you love someone, they say you set them free But that ain't gonna work for me Deanna and, and Bryce would like to invite everyone to come up to the reception hall for some refreshments and all while they're taking their pictures and then they'll all gather up there. So if everyone would, just make your way up to the reception hall.